Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, in today's review, we're going to be reviewing a 2021 Bronco Sport in the Outer Banks trim. Um, really cool car, and without any further ado, let's get into it. All right, so this is the 2021 Bronco Sport in the Outer Banks trim. Um, let's just dive right into it. As you can see, it's very definitive with its Bronco label right in the middle. And then also to a standard for Bronco is LED daytime running lights as well as LED headlights and the halos. Now this is a tradition that Bronco has done for a while, back in the 60s when it all started. Um, they've always stuck to a halo type light, which is pretty cool. Um, you also get um, LED fog lights. And then here, I'll show you the grill. So every grill is different with every trim. So this is the Outer Banks trim. Um, it's the second highest you can get, and then up you can go one more to Badlands. but. The front pretty much stays the same. And there I'll give you a little glimpse of what the light looks like there. Again, they're really bright too, which is awesome, especially at nighttime. So that's what the front end looks like. This color is also in carbonized gray. So it's replacing the color magnetic. And it looks really great, especially in the sun or in the dark, it looks really nice. And then as you can tell here, there's some bulging in the hood. So there's one here, there's one bulge, and then it kind of slopes, and there's another bulge here. It looks really boxy, especially when you are sitting in the driver's seat, which is a nice feature. But again, Bronco is meant for beefiness and you know boxiness, which is kind of like their heritage. But let's get into the engine specs. All right, so this engine here is a 1.5 liter three-cylinder turbocharged motor, uh, EcoBoost, of course, and it's producing 181 horsepower and 191 pound-feet of torque, mated to an eight-speed automatic transmission. Um, so similar to the Escape, so this, this car here is similar to the Escape. It's on the same C2 platform, but with different suspension and tuning, of course. Um, so there are some comparables to the Escape, but a lot of differences. But there is the motor for you to look at there. Moving along the side here, you can see that we have some nice rim options. Um, this is actually the only option you can get for the Outer Banks trim. You can upgrade to more all-terrain tires, but here the tire size is 18, so we get 225 60 R18s, which is a really cool. I think the rim design is pretty nice. Um, the tire is more, you know, an all-season, but you can upgrade to an all-terrain if you'd like. Now moving along the side here, we have a, you know, a fake vent and then we have the Outer Banks logo and badge right there and then here we have the mirror they are manual uh, push-in but they are adjustable obviously with the interior controls so moving along the side here we have the door handle it has a touch sensor here to unlock and then right here these five buttons if you hold that it will lock the vehicle now coming over to the other side same door handle and there's what the the top of the Bronco looks like. As you can see when I go into the interior, the roof line starts here, and then when you make your way over, the roof line increases. And that's basically for tons of more space if you want to put any you know, bikes or people who are taller for headroom. Now let's make our way to the rear. So moving along the back here, um, we have some nice LED uh, tail lights, and then we have the Bronco Sport labeled on the back, and then the little Ford badge. This one doesn't have the trailer hitch, but the Bronco Sport can tow up to 2,200 pounds. Now, a nice cool feature with Bronco Sport is the fact that you can open, you can access the tailgate, or not the tailgate, the trunk, through the glass visor here. Now, there's two buttons down below here. So there's door, which opens the tailgate, and then there's the glass. So if I click the glass button, I can open up the glass visor here, and I can access the trunk just like that. The entranceway is not too, too big. It's about maybe just over a foot but again, it's a nice option to have. And then we can close that, and then we can hit the door button here, and it just opens just like that. Now for trunk space, it's pretty big um, compared to you know SUVs in the, in the market right now. A nice cool feature is this light button. So when I click this light button, all of the lights in the trunk will go on. So I have the one light function here, right in the side, and then also two on the tailgate. So one right there, and then also one right there. And then you have some storage in the pockets here, one over there, and then also one over here. 
And then over here, you actually have some clips that are, there's a lasso on here, and basically they're kind of like tie downs or any type of hook that you want to hook on here. And they're both on the same side, so one right there, one right there, and then you also have a 12 volt charging back here. So that's what the trunk looks like. Let's our, make our way to the rear seats. Now hopping into the Bronco Sport, uh, we are greeted with a brown ebony interior. Uh, here we have a, a textured material. It's a hard touch plastic here. We have some brown trim along the side of the door panel. And then we actually have a brown padded station here for your elbow. And then your window control is right here. Now this interior I, f I really like. It's very plush and it feels really nice to touch. You have some brown stitching here. Now it's, it is, it's a two tone, but there's three different colors here. So we have the brown and then we have a gray or a gray, it's not a really a suede, but it's a nice soft material. And then we have the perforated black leather here and it continues throughout the whole interior. So there I can show you the headrest and what the back looks like. So it's perforated black leather here, brown, that gray, and then brown up here again. And it feels soft to the touch. Now we do have some cup holders here and then down below we have a 110 power right here, which is a great option. And then fans right here. And then we also have a pocket. So there's zippers and then there's a pocket here. This textured material that you can see is kind of carried throughout the whole Bronco Sport. And then the headroom. So if I move up here, I'll show you. You can see that there's an indent here in the, in the roof line. And that is basically like I was saying before, um, if you want to fit any bikes or if you have tall people that need to sit in the rear, um, there's tons of headroom. Like I'm myself 5'11 and I have about six more inches of room when I sit back here. So again, it's a really cool option that they did that. But th that is what the rear occupants would see in the back and what they would feel sitting in the back seats. Now let's head to the front. All right, so let's head right into the front. So again, you're greeted with the same type of door panel here, um, same type of colors. Uh, we have actually a soft touch material here, which is great to the touch. And then here, brown trim carries throughout. And then we have a brown padded area right here for your arm. Window and mirror controls here. Uh, this is, has the 10 speaker upgraded uh, Bang & Olufsen surround system. There is where you would unlock the hood. And then here we have your light controls. Uh, pretty much standard across the board with four vehicles. They have this design layout here. You can open the trunk through here. It is not automatic. Uh, fog lights here and then there's your auto dimming right here and then we also have your seat adjustment controls down here now let's hop into the front and we'll go over some features so we're in the bronco sport right now and as you can see the instrument cluster looks a little bit different compared to other models in the ford lineup it's pretty much bronco um, specific but there are some similarities but a lot a lot of differences but the features look, basically feel the same if you're in another vehicle so obviously these controls control this menu up here and right now I have it on the fuel, my average consumption of fuel, but again, it's configurable to the way you want it. Um, so these buttons here control the infotainment there. We have voice command, you know, call, pick up, call, hang up, and this swaps your media controls here. Uh, this does have four co-pilot assist plus. So basically it's got adaptive steering, it's got adaptive cruise. Um, so that's what that button is, the adaptive steering, your gap adjustments, your cruise control settings here, volume controls, and then mute. Over here we have a stock for your turn signal, and then we have your lane keeping assist system right on the edge there. And then on the other side, we have your uh, windshield wiper controls for the front and also the rear. Now this is what the Bronco, Bronco steering wheel looks like. You have the Bronco logo there. Feels really great to the touch. Um, it's leather wrapped too, and it has a heated steering wheel, which is awesome, especially up here in the Canadian uh, winter weather. It's nice to have a heated steering wheel. Now let's make our way to the infotainment. So the infotainment here is an eight inch screen, uh, pretty similar to other models in the Ford lineup. It's got the new updated Sync 4 system. It's got better responsiveness, better quality, better um, resolution. Uh, but it works the same as all the other uh, infotainments with Ford. So you have your home screen up here. Uh, right now the, the plastic is on it. That's why you see this red line. Um, but really nice to use. I like the 8 inch screen. It feels uh, very responsive when I touch it. And 
It's got some great features on it as well. Here we have your toggles for your volume, your tuning knob, auto stop start is right there. You can turn it off, hazards. This controls all your sound for your, inf or your speakers, so you can enhance the sound via this button here. This toggles um, your audio. This shuts the screen to a calm mode, and then if you push it again, it will actually turn the screen black. And then if we want to resurrect it, we just hit that button or we just tap the screen. Okay. And then here they have actually inputted a pocket here for storage. So it's a great feature to put, you know, your phone or any type of material or whatever you need in there, like pens, pencils, or anything like that. A push button starts right here. And then also down here, we have our climate control. Now to turn on the climate control, we hit this button here and you have dual zone climate. So all these here control your climate, fan controls. There's your heated steering wheel button. I'm glad Ford is actually putting uh, buttons for heated steering wheel, steering, steering wheel instead of putting it in the uh, infotainment. And then here we have your heated seats. Now down here, we actually have a wireless charger. Um, that pattern continues over here. So if you can see here, if my camera will grab it, um, it's got that textured pattern here. And then also we have your USB, USB-C, and we have a 12 volt. Now moving into the center here, we do have a dial and it's pretty much standard across the lineup for a lot of Ford vehicles. You have the dial here and it's pretty easy to use. You got park reverse neutral drive and you just turn it with your foot on the brake and it will go into the setting. Now here we have your parking brake and then we also have your auto hold function. Now we also have your GOAT mode, so go on any terrain mode. And while you turn it, it will turn a different setting onto the infotainment instrument cluster in front of the steering wheel. So I will turn it and show you. So right now we are in normal. We can go to eco, we can go to sport. Let's see here. So there's normal, eco, sport, there's slippery. And then there is sand. So it will change, you know, your driving setting according to what mode you're in. So right now, let's leave it on the Bronco badge there, which is normal. Okay, so that's a nice option. It gives you a little bit of an animation over here. And then I will lift up the center stack or the, the console here. And again, it looks really good. Tons of storage in here. You got USB, USB-C, and then pockets here to put your, your wires through. So this, the top here doesn't hit your wires and then we can move up to the se uh, the center up here and basically what this is is your sun uh, roof control so we can open the sunshade we can close the sunshade with all these controls then you have room here for your um, sunglasses or glasses if you need to there's the sunroof right here um, right now I'm in my body shop so that's why you see all these things up there but it's not a panoramic sunroof you only have the one sunroof roof right in the in between the driver and the front passenger okay so that's pretty much what the infotainment and the setting looks like here in the bronco sport the dash is i find a lot smaller compared to other models but i do really like the front hood like i was mentioning to you before those bulges on the sides they look really great and um, as you can see too i have the lights on they're very bright and it's a really nice spot to sit in. I honestly thought that going into this car, it would feel small because it doesn't look too big on the outside. But when you finally get into it and you sit down and you adjust yourself, it actually feels really big in here. I'm not gonna lie. Um, the seats feel fantastic. They're very comfortable. I will show you too. You have the Bronco logos embedded here into the seats on my side and the driver and the passenger side, which is a great option. But again, it feels really great. Um, being in here, it's very comfortable. I like the boxiness of it and that's pretty much it for the interior. Now let's talk price. So another cool feature too is when you start the vehicle up, it gives you a nice display to watch. to show you guys what it looks like when you turn everything off so it gives you a rear seat reminder but it also gives you an animation of a nighttime with the meteor shooting through which is really cool all right so let's talk price so the bronco here is priced at 42249 canadian and we have some options on it which is the outer banks package for co-pilot assist plus and that's pretty much it we don't have the trailer hitch package on it but that's what the price of this one is standing at right now in carbonized gray. Um, you only have that one motor option, which is the 1.5 liter three cylinder turbocharged motor. 
Um, but again, it's a really nice car. Uh, it, it's a really great competitor to, to what's out in the market right now. I mean, the price is, I'm not gonna say it's cheap because their vehicles aren't cheap, uh, but again, it comes down to your personal preference. I personally really love this Bronco Sport. I can't wait to see what the other Broncos look like myself. Um, but let me guys, let me know what you guys think in the comments. And uh, yeah, I'll see you in my next video. Thanks for watching.